I want to give you a little example with a live transaction that I had not too long ago with, with regards to how price plus access plus wages affect a home. In this particular case, we had some homeowners here in Huntington Beach where they were very motivated to sell their home. The husband and wife um, had been battling an illness for many, many years. And uh, the long and short of it was that they were in a default situation with their mortgage, so they had to get out right away. So uh, we, they were willing to price the home competitively. They knew, they understood the price plus access plus wages equal a sold home. So we priced the home right below market value because we needed a quick sale in this particular instance. The access of the home, the homeowner agreed to put a lockbox on the home. They said we could show the home as early as 8 o'clock in the morning till 9 p.m. in the evening. Uh, the only thing, thing was that we were going to have to call first because they had not one but two very large dogs. In fact, one was a very large 140-pound uh, pit bull and the second dog was about 160 pound St. Bernard. So access uh, became an issue with this property. And then the third element was wages. They were willing to go ahead and pay a 4% commission to the buyer's agent. So their price was in sync, their uh, commissions or wages were in sync, but access was an on and off issue. And this is how the, the transaction transpired. Uh, we were fine. The homeowner said, anytime you want to show the home, not a problem. Uh, they were unwilling to move the dogs into, you know, either stay with a friend or a family member or be put in a kennel. Mrs. Mrs. K, we'll say her last name is, Mrs. K said, oh, every time you need to show the home, just call me and I'll put the dogs in. The, we have a trailer in the back. We'll just go ahead and uh, put the dogs in the trailer. This home was at, on a very large piece of land here in Huntington Beach. So they happen to have a very large uh, trailer in their backyard. So I agreed to it, although I did try to encourage them to uh, put the dog, dogs, plural, put the dogs in uh, another place for at least the first two weeks, but to no avail. Well, lo and behold, even though she was, you know, her and him were both willing to move the dogs every time the property needed to be shown, uh, inevitably what happened was he ended up having an injury on his in his workplace where basically he was in the hospital for several weeks at a time and as bad luck would have it she ended up um, going into the hospital as well so the day that she ended up going into the hospital of course I wasn't aware of this she didn't have any time to you know give me a call and my agents that had confirmed that they were going out to show the property to some buyers and in this case we had several um, agents that were going out with buyers we expected the dogs to be put into the trailer and when the first agent showed up they immediately called me just panic-stricken because the only thing between them and these two big dog faces that was was confronting them was a thin little veil, uh, you know, the screen that separates the glass from the um, from the animal. So, needless to say, that buyer and those and the agent never came back to show the home. And in in this unfortunate situation, because the homeowner was so ill, so ill and so injured, the husband was injured and the wife was so ill that. Uh, I was not able to get a hold of her literally for weeks. You know, he was in, he was hospitalized, not allowed visitors and, and the, and, you know, the ICU, and she was pretty much in the same boat as well. So that was a home that ended up unfortunately going to foreclosure because access was, was so severely restricted. And even though we had a very low price and we had a great compensation to buyer's agents, um, believe it or not, we actually had 16 buyers and their agents that wanted to put offers on this home. But because access was such an issue, um, that house ended up going back to the bank and it was foreclosed upon. And it really didn't need to be. Uh, and the access was so so restricted that it wasn't just in viewing the home, but it was also in my being able to reach 
the homeowner and communi communicate with them and find out and communicate with them, you know, whatever was transpiring in the property. Um, and that particular home, right, right, a little prior to her going into the hospital, I actually offered to put the, the both of the animals in a kennel at my expense because I really wanted to help them with this. Um, but unfortunately, the dogs were family members. They slept with their with their um, young teenage son, and they just didn't have the heart to move the dog into a kennel or make any other arrangements. So unfortunately, that home actually did go back to the bank. And that's a prime example as to how the access, again, all three factors are critical, price, access, and wages. All three of them have to be in sync. It just takes one of those factors to be out of sync and the house won't sell. Um, very rarely do I see two out of the three factors out of sync. Typically, we will we'll see a, uh, one factor, and once you adjust that one, um, the house sells. And uh, I have yet to see one where price, access, and wages, all three of them, um, are out of sync. That just, I've never seen it happen. I'm sure it could, um, but I haven't seen that happen yet. But uh, that's an example of price plus access plus wages equals sold home. Let me help you exit out of where you are and walk into the home of your dreams. Contact us now at HuntingtonBeachCalRealEstate.com. Thank you.